uh, came here in 19 from Connecticut. When I was in Connecticut, I taught band for 23 years there. I've always been a bass player, so teaching band, it was kind of a good fit, but not really. Um, but I, I, I really had fun doing it. I learned a lot about wind and brass instruments and percussion. And uh, my students sounded really, really good in my band. Um, but when my, my wife was teaching English in Connecticut for 20 years, and she just said to me, I'm gonna get my 20, I wanna take my pension, and I am done with the classroom. I'm done, what no she more. Teach English. D don't even ask her, because the answer is no. <laughs> um, she said, I'm done with the classroom, I've had it. So she said, let's do something different. We chose Santa Fe. Now she's working as um, the assistant to the heads of school at Santa Fe Prep. So she's still in the game, but she's, she's not, what she really wanted to get out of, I want to get out of the classroom. But she's still in education, she really likes education. And they're really lucky to have her. So when this opportunity came forward to teach strings, yay! <laughs> Uh, which I've been waiting to do for 20, this is my 26th year teaching. Um, 19 was great, end of 20 was not so good, 20 and 21, oh my God, it was, um, but all of these people, <laughs> Jazzy, Maya, Lily, Sasha, Sitlali, and Jimena, they started with me two years ago and bless their hearts, they stuck through it all the way through the, oh, that awful remote, awful. <laughs> and then, I know these people, Franklin, Eddie, uh, um, I, I'm skipping Sunday. Eddie, Brianna, Anna, Isla, and Addie, they started with me this year. Now really bless their hearts, Santi and Ruth, they started remotely. I mean, <laughs> can you imagine? Just and bless their hearts, they, st they, they stuck with it. So what you're about to hear, everyone who's heard these people play, everybody has been telling me, oh my God, Tom, they sound so good. I mean, I was telling my wife last night, the music, it's true, the music is really easy. It's very, very simple, very easy. However, you still have to do it right. You can still be out of tune. You can still be not together. And when you hear them, you're gonna hear, they have a good sound, they keep time, they're in tune, the big three. Good sound, in tune, keep time. So we're gonna play, uh, our, our first two selections, we're performing at Music Performance Assessment next week at Santa Fe High School. Then there's one more that we were going to play, uh, but a lot of my beginners over at Milagro, we couldn't quite get together, so we're just going to do two. But they really wanted to do the third one that we were going to perform. So we're going to play three pieces for you. The first one um, is by, it, it's called Zenith. It's by Katherine Grissinger. Um, not much to it, but I, I, I know you'll enjoy it. Um, so would everyone be, let's all play our beast Let's make sure we're in tune. Everybody play your D string. Just play. Play your D string. Good stop. Everybody play your A string. classroom we warm up I'll just stand forward. make sure you all can see me go ahead and fix it Eddie make sure you all can see me
maybe warm up, clean it, oil pomade, and subatomic. That's all you need. Got it? Okay. Take your time. No hurry, Eddie. Take your time. Okay. Theme A and B. Theme A and B. divided into three parts. The eighth graders are playing part one, the sixth and seventh graders are playing part two, and I am playing part three. So that means the students have to be independent. I'm not directing them. We just listen to each other and we have to react. You all right? called Royal Promenade. Promenade is like a fancy walk. So this sounds like a march. <clears throat> of the three things we're playing, I like this one the best because I think you can really hear the different voices in this one.
Right, so you're probably noticing that this, that the, I'm not really telling the students what to do. They, they have to know what to do. Um, uh, I, I'm not standing in front because I'm trying to hog the spotlight. It's, it, I'm standing in front so that everyone can see what I'm doing. Um, and then when we're at MPA's music performance assessment next week, we'll be combined with the Milagro students and I'll be standing in front of everyone directing in a traditional way. And we've been working on that. Um, but I prefer this kind of performance where there's not a director, where we're just reacting to each other. Um, it's a more, it's more communal, it's more intimate, and, and, and I think it gives the students the opportunity to collaborate in a way that they don't get to do when someone's actually leading them. So I, I really prefer this kind of performance. This is our last selection today. A lot of the students tell me this is their favorite. I think they like it because it's faster. <laughs> this is called Subatomic. This composer, I played a lot of his music when I was a band director a few years ago. You all ready?